Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly, was looking at the other lectern. It's a state of the art. Mas maganda maraming well, Sarangani Province Vice Governor Elmer de Peralta, Senator Bongo, Maasi Municipal Mayor Zyrex Pacquiao, and the other local government officials, Energy Regulatory Commission Chairperson Agnes de Benadera, Officials and employees of the Alsons Consolidated Resources, led by Chairman Tomas Alcantara, other distinguished guests, mga kababayan. Today, we mark another milestone in our quest to provide safe, reliable, and affordable power to the island of Mindanao and the rest of the Philippines. I am pleased to lead the inauguration of the Phase 2 of the 105 megawatt coal-fired power plant of the Sarangani Energy Corporation and the launching of the 14.5 megawatt Siguel hydropower project. Phase 2 will add to the same capacity of SEC Phase 1, which began operations in April this year, providing a combined 210 megawatt base load power capacity to more than 2.15 households in Sarangani, Province, Butuan, Cagayan, De Oro, Dapitan, Digos, Dipolog, General Santos, Iligan, Kidapawan, Coronadal, and Pagadian, among others. Wow. Meanwhile, the Sigil Hydropower Project is Alson's Power's first venture into renew renewable energy. It is a 4.25 billion peso hydroelectric power plant at the Sigil River Basin in Maasim with a 14.5 megawatt capacity and can provide additional power to General Santos and Sarangani when it begins operation in 2022. I am pleased to note that since June 2016, the power supply in Mindanao has greatly improved from experiencing power deficiencies which resulted in the power interruptions in the past, it currently has excess power generation. Siguro naman sa politiko mahirap na magdaya ngayong 2022 with the kind of uh, brightness that we are about to experience. Um, meron na tayong energy. Ang kailangan na lang natin yung Mga politiko nagpuputol ng kurente. <laughs> you know, it's uh, too far away to be speculating or even talking about it. But I am on my way out. What I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that it will be a clean election during my time. I will not allow anybody friend or foe, alliances with us and on the other side. It will be equal treatment for all. And what I can assure you is that I am warning, and I did it last election when I said, do not you know, mess up with elections. Allow the Filipino to vote freely and the votes counted correctly. 
at this early, I am not entering into any alliances that would derail the elections. You can be sure that I will be out of office and I will not stay even a minute longer when my term ends. But elections aided with the power of Sigil and the Alcantara group coming in, providing the lights. I am sure that Celso would be uh, comfortable and stop complaining about uh, the... On this note, I wish to acknowledge the important contribution of power generation companies to the country's development, particularly here in Mindanao to their consistent effort to expand power coverage nationwide. They are providing much needed support to the government's build, build, build. Isa pa po. Habi ko sa kanila, hindi ko kailangan niyang build, build, build. Do not give me that kind of shit. I want build, use, build, use, build, use. E kung build, build, build lang, Para yung bilbil na ka. Ano at bilbil eh? Malaga yung poso na na ka. It is my hope that more power generation companies will invest in renewable energy projects in the Philippines to support the government's advocacy for environmental protection and conservation of natural resources. I am for climate change. I really do. I, I can understand. I, I, I have a little learning of everything. Not much, but I can understand. Now, the problem is uh, the Climate Change Commission is always calling for a meeting. And always it's uh, how much carbon footprints you leave on planet Earth. And it's all talking, it's all conferences. So that this time I, re I, 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 I said it would be a waste of money. And I would not really also agree to something of a ratio and proportion vis-a-vis -vis with your economy and uh, your, the hugeness of your... That you limit me to this because I would need more for mine. Kung ganon ang attitude ng America has separated, medyo mahirap yan. Ako, I am for climate change. But the one thing that is not present and therefore be becomes a very inutile commission is it does not have sanctions. You can commit uh, so many things there, excess of carbon monoxide and all, and yet there is no sanction. UN should better understand that. It has to have a sanction for violators. Uh, the problem is, uh, I hope uh, Australia would stick with the Commission because it will add more uh, prestige and second, uh, the clout. But without a sanction, I, I do not think that it will succeed. It will only fail and worsen the situation for the coming generation. You and I know that if you cannot arrest Climate change now, sigurado yan, our children will suffer more severe climate changes, typhoons and all. And what's the, another problem is, I don't know, maybe it's this, there's much water going underground. The tectonic guys are playing inside the bowels of the earth, giving us this care. But then nobody, but nobody can predict earthquakes. So the Philippines is the window of the Pacific. 
And that is why, let me be away, just for, just for you to know. Alam ko, alam ninyo to, mas bright kayo sa akin. We cannot depend on this uh, situation now. Na. It's the consumer, the Republic of the Philippines people, and the producers, the farmers. Lahat na bubunga nila, harvest time. They can plant and harvest, but it is always a contingent one in the Philippines. Now, to say that you stop importation just because they're going to produce this year a projected uh, number, that would be a folly because I said we are the window to the Pacific Island. And you know, there's never uh, a way of knowing how much typhoon would ravage our plant, including the rice gland, and whether there would be a good harvest or not. So, delicado yan sabihin mo na, well, I haven't greatly misunderstood. Uh, I have always been misunderstood. Uh, my presidency was a misunderstood uh, venture. Ganon talaga. But ang sinabi ko, uh, we have to import because the producer cannot fill up the requirements. It's lacking. But there is a produce which you have to sell. And I said to Dar, you have to buy it. Baski na mataas ng konti. I hope you would understand that there is a prevailing market value for all. It's always the law of supply and demand. So they must have uh, something there that is a reasonable pricing. And for the consumers, which is us, to buy all. Bilihin talaga natin lahat yung kanila. Before we venture into uh, this uh, ripe tarification imports. My duty it's not to the businessmen. I have nothing to do with them. I, I don't care what happens to them. I care about the people. And I said, buy this because you are buying social unrest. Yan ang sinasabi ko sa cabinet. Bilihin mo na lang yan social unrest that would accompany if there is really something of uh, their products, their produce, their sweat, hindi mo mabayaran, at in, they are in perpetual agony of death. You solve the problem. Ang sabi nila, yun ang sa cabinet. Ang sabi na, we will lose if we buy the well, the farm gates make it a mandatory thing. Yung tama at tama lang makapag-ano sila sa mga utang nila, their debts, uh, uh, while they are planting, harvesting, they have nothing. Puro lista-lista lang yan. So when the time comes, when they sell, that's the time that they have money to give to the creditors but then allow them a levy of comfort in life. So who bears the burden? The Filipino people. We lose. Yes, we lose. How many billions? Five, six, seven billions. So what? It's our money, it's our money, and we are, I said, buying social unrest, which would be more expensive to deal with especially if these guys would join the NPA. It's a rich, uh, a fertile ground for... Yan ang sinasabi ko. Ito namang, baka nandito ngayon, usahin ko lang sa vaping. You know, do not listen to those lawyers and bugok nga sila, manawala. You happen to elect one of the, not really bright, but progressive. 
Remember, I was a prosecutor for many years. Kung hindi ba tangay ang mga buo, ang putang inang yan, you know, nicotine is prohibited. You cannot use nicotine here. I will arrest you. Okay, there's a law. It's based on the national law and the pollution and everything. It's deleterious to the health. It's a hazard to health. No, there's a law regarding the use of nicotine. I do, I do not have to issue an executive order pakabubo na may itong mga gago na ito na meron ng law about nicotine. If you use vaping in public, there is nicotine. And so, without the other chemical combustion there, you are already violating the law in vaping because it contains nicotine. Now, why am I ordering its confiscation? Because it is thrown to the consumers and under the Consumers Protection Act, if the thing that they, we are importing is prohibited by the place where it was made, then automatically it is also not good. And it is, should, should be by operation of common sense. If it is uh, bowels of Vermont, in California, so, uh, the protection, the consumer's uh, protection also is that if a thing is not legal there, where it was made or manufactured, then it cannot be legal here. There's, there's, really no, no, there's already the law. Nicotine. So when you vaping, you're spewing nicotine and a hundred other chemicals not known yet as yet. And it has not passed the FDA. And Secretary Duke says, it's bad. To whom shall I seek the medical expertise? Well, of course, I will listen to Duke, the Secretary of Justice. Otherwise, if I don't believe him, I will just have to fire him. There's no sense in keeping a person whom you will not follow. Tapos na yung... Well, anyway, those are the tidbits of uh, being here. Para malaman ninyo, I'm so pissed off with this guy. Eh, walang alam eh. And the others, itong IBP. Anong bar exam pa itong mga ulol na to? I am pleased to note that since June 9, 2016, the power supply in Mindanao has greatly improved from experiencing power deficiencies which resulted in the power interruptions in the past. It currently has excess power generation. So, pasalamat talaga ako. And you know how it really works hardship for the people. Power is a very essential ingredient sa buhay ng tao. That is why one of the conditions, I don't know if you um, invited your competitor or not really, but your, si Aboy Tismini, started the power plant there. Sabi ko, papayag ako, but give me the assurance that Dabao City will continually, continuous supply of energy. Give me that assurance and I will approve your application on the local level. Sabi niya, oh. Kaya si Aboites, Si Sabin, ah, si ano siya ako? Si Sabin. Pagka nagkulang-kulang ito, sabihin mo lang sa kanya, hinahanap ko siya. <laughs> Today, the total installed capacity in Mindanao has reached 4 
5,038 megawatts with dependable capacity of 3,486 megawatts. Mindanao's 2019 peak demand is only 20,013. Wow. On this note, I wish and I am very happy to acknowledge the important contribution of power generation companies to the country's development, particularly here in Mindanao. Through their consistent efforts to expand power, power coverage nationwide, they are providing much needed support for the uh, government's build, build, build. I have not heard of use, 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 <laughs> and the electrification programs that help significantly in propelling the Philippine economy forward. It is my hope that more power generation companies will invest in renewable energy projects in the Philippines to support the government's advocacy of environmental protection and conservation of natural resources. I ask our friends in the private sector to work closely with the Department of Energy, the Department of Science and Technology, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to effectively harmonize efforts towards ensuring inclusivity, sustainability, and efficiency in power generation. Be assured that this, this administration is, de is determined in its goal to achieve power security in the country, consistent with its drive to uplift the living conditions of our people. Before like these big projects, the worry has always been corruption. In all of the contracts with government and everything, somebody has to shell out something. And it is because the Filipino is not assertive enough. Unlike the Americans, they demand and they stand by the rights. Ang Filipino kasi natatakot Whenever he approaches a window, John, so whether it could be the BIR or uh, the permits in the local level, clearances, may kabasya, it, there is always, I, I, I have observed that. I have been, I've been mayor for 23 years. Nakikita ako na medyo kabado sila na baka pahirapan o hingian. Okay, the best way really is just to report to the governor, or if there is nobody whom you can turn to, you just address me at 8888, posted every morning, PTB4, government channel, and I will call you. I will fetch, I'll ask the Air Force to fetch you wherever you are. I'll bring you to Malacanian and tell me who that idiot is. And I will have that son of a bitch brought in front of me and tignan ninyo kung ano ang ginagawa ko sa kanila. Putang ina, sabihin ko sa iyo, kayong nakikinig lahat. Sinisipa ko kayo at sinasampal ko talaga kayo. I have been doing it and I will always do it. In here, the only way that you are really afraid of is to be humiliated in public and to be branded as a thief, as a son of a bitch. Kaya pag may magsumbong sa akin, baski na police or you tell me, pag may humingi, you have access to Malacanian 24 hours, especially if it is corruption. Tell me, do not be afraid. Kasi yung tao na sinumbong mo, kausapin ko yun bago ako bubugbogin yun. Sabihin ko sa kanya, putang ina mo, may nangyari dyan sa tao nag-report sa iyo, ikaw ang papatayin ko. Para klaro. Be assured that this administration is determined its goal to achieve power security in the country. Dagang salamat sa inyong tanong. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request the President for a photo opportunity 
in five batches. We'll start with, uh, may I call on uh, the pre AFP commanders who are present, West Mincom Commander and East Mincom Commander Santos and uh, Lieutenant General uh, Sobehana to be joined by uh, Minister Nakata of the Embassy of Japan. And Major uh, General Faustino. Batch two are uh, the uh, ones with the uh, red tags. Kindly uh, prepare on the this side of the uh, stage. The red. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May we now call on the uh, red batch. The orange batch should now uh, prepare. The red batch will now go on stage. Thank you, sir. May we now call on the orange batch. Please come up on stage. Orange batch. Pink batch, please prepare. The pink batch will now prepare. Orange batch. Thank you. The pink batch will now please uh, light the stage.
Thank you, Pink Batch, for the last batch. May we now call the members of the Alcantara family. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our program. Maraming salamat po. May we request the, the audience to please remain until the uh, president departs uh, the venue. Thank you.